Hello everyone. Today is um Saturday, January 27, 2024 at uh 10:55 a.m. in the morning. Yes, it's Saturday the 27th, right? Yeah, okay. So I have to check out this hotel room. And um they said the rain is supposed to stop. So I'm feeling kind of, I didn't get much sleep again last night. And I'm feeling kind of slowed, you know, because of my insufficient sleep with the sleep deprivation and everything. So, <clears throat> excuse me. The video that I did last night, it was unexpectedly, um, unexpectedly took longer to upload than usual, you know. So, um, my anxiety is extremely high at the moment. And I'm on, but I'm standing up right now because I want to make sure that I have a full charge on my phone before I got to leave and be back on the streets. You know, my phone is my protection, you know. So, excuse me for being slowed. Um... I didn't feel this way earlier, right after breakfast. I had, um, you know, my mind felt a little sharper earlier, but maybe it was because it was right after breakfast. But, um, <sighs> so I'll say this though. I found out that. Somebody who I suspect to be the fake Aquarium Doris perp was the one who um, called up the hotel three days ago and made up some lies on me. The fake Darnell Williams perp, he said that he was the one who did it. So three days ago, that was Wednesday. So, that was Wednesday. That was three days ago. Because today being Saturday, yeah, two days ago was Thursday. So, three days ago, that had to have been Wednesday. So, it's a miracle or a surprise that there's anybody to have my back or support me, you know. But their goal is to make sure that I have no one. No one. And a lot of times it, be, it feels that way. You know, even up in here, you know, I felt like for the past couple of days, you know, feeling so depressed. And feeling like I have nobody. You know, and, and, and you know, people will say that... um you know, some people, the, the fake mental health people or the psychology people will say, you know, that's just negative self-talk. Or the so-called Christian people will say, oh, don't let the devil um, whisper in your ear or don't let the devil get in your head or whatever. Or, oh, that's the devil telling you that, you know. But I'm sitting here feeling like I have nobody. But then I, I pause and I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got a little support. Because if, if I really had nobody, I wouldn't have ha had help with the hotel room. 
or I just, you know, felt hated by everybody or felt like, you know, made to feel like as if I deserve to be punished by everybody. Especially what I've been going through for the past couple of weeks. So, you know, even fake people will let me know that they respect me for being so real. You know, and they have when they will have fake people who will look straight in the camera and talk talk and look straight in the camera and tell lies. You know. But the trauma that I've been through, you know, and some people might call it dissociation or whatever. Of, like I said, with me wandering, with my mind wandering without me realizing, or they want to say, oh, you don't even look straight in the camera. But I've seen some professed targeted individuals, you know, who, they also, they don't look in the camera directly, and they be, you know, got to be hypervigilant and aware, especially if they're standing at the at the bus stop, and, um, you know, Got to be hyper vigilant because of so many perps around them. You know, so. They, I mean, so I heard that some people, you know, can tell when you're telling the truth about something or when you're lying about something. And there's a such thing as being camera shy. You know, so, I mean, back in 2019 and, and before 2019, you know, I, I would do videos and be like, like as if, you know, like as if someone would have stage fright, you know, at a play or a musical or something, you know. So, you know, due to my, I guess the, um, you know, I guess, I don't know if people would call it dissociation or, um, but my mind will wander and not me not even realizing it or me, um, trying extra hard to concentrate on what I need to say and fighting out unwanted intrusive thoughts you know so I have told the truth and am telling the truth no matter how y'all perceive me and I show y'all proof of the truth and evidence of the truth and y'all still um trying to find some loophole around to justify why you think excuse me why you think I'm lying or you try to look look for an opportunity or an escape to justify trying to gaslight me or try to make me question myself so you know with that fake TI per GS sanctuary no, you ain't no T.I. You're the one who's not a T.I. If you're linking up with the gang stalkers. And you call me the trigger word greedy. You know. When he lied and said, and your eyes look demon possessed, by the way. But, I, I mean, I always... Well, for the little bit of time that I knew him, I'm like, he seemed like the person that, the type of person who would be abusive, narcissistic, hard, and mean. And my intuition was correct. You know, and, and, um, you know, he trying to, I mean, I woke up this morning feeling bad about, and that just was drilled in my head with him saying, you know, 
by the way, your eyes look dem dem demon possessed or whatever, you know. But the gang stalkers falsely portray me as a demon. So it's unfair for him to either, it's either he's using projection because he never shows his face, you know, or he had, um, saw the pictures of the fake Darnell Williams perp altering my pictures to look demonic. Or he probably saw that my twin sister's eyes look demonic and pro projected that onto me. Either one of those three things. He probably, it's either he's probably the one with, you know, the demonic looking eyes. The fact that you won't even show your face. And so, and, and so, I mean, at least I have blatant evidence. So, like, why would, he actually went out of his way to, like, be supportive and help, you know. And when I made a, um, you know, was it a video or a community post? I think it was a video a while back couple of months ago when I said people don't really care about my suffering or something like that I said and so he said I care which is the reason why you're part of OGSUK or whatever um you know but it is amazing how quickly the perps can turn people away from you even the well-meaning Christians that that's people that's Chris, supposed to be Christian and targeted they turn around and the moment that they accept that deal to sell out, the people that are supposed to be Christian, whether targeted or not, the moment that they can get that person to betray you and sell out, you know, that the narcissistic personality that they never had before, they start to be like a sadistic, brutal, cruel narcissist, you know. And then they lie and say that you're the demonic one or narcissistic. But they will have so many people people that I don't even know if they're fake predators, you know, preying on me and, and trying to butter me up and juice me up and tell me that I'm, that my body is full of light or that my eyes full of light are full of light. One time the fake foster mom even said that I look radiant. But you're full of darkness. One time she told a psych, not psychiatrist, but the psychologist. One time she told a psychologist when I was going to Nickel State University, she told a psychologist that I look radiant. So, you know, so many people are telling me that, oh, your spirit irritates their demons. Or oh, they would tell me about how much light I have. I don't even try to tell myself that I'm full of this light. I don't even arrogantly juice my head up, my own head up to believe that I'm so full of this light. You know. So, yeah. One time somebody said, people see the light of a conscience in you. Trisha, Darius, Miss Samantha, and Monique and all them. You know, they would tell me along the lines of, you're chosen, you're chosen. I really do believe you're chosen. You're this, you're that. You're full of light. Oh, you have such a pure soul. And even Anthony, they, you know, saying you have, like, um, such a beautiful soul. And everybody else, you know. But after I get into an argument with them, I'm the hellbound. They try to manipulate and convince everybody and falsely believe I'm the hellbound demon. You know, and and even that um, Lisa Ruby and Tracy Broadhurst try to tell me there's no hope in heaven for you. Yeah, after I wouldn't um, after I started fighting back and resisting their fake mind control that they were trying to do on me, their manipulation, coercion, and mind control. Lisa Ruby was a fake Christian narcissist and a perp, gang stalker. And her and her husband pre pretended to be targeted individuals. I don't know what they had planning for me. 
But I, you know, I ended up homeless behind Lisa Ruby. Manipulating me to break the lease to go all the way by her by some, for some fake deliverance ministry. You know. But they were already um, torturing me with weapons so bad. In, when I was living in Los Angeles, they, you know, they tortured me with weapons so bad that um, I told y'all last night or the night before that they tortured me with the weapons so bad that I couldn't even live in my own home. The weirdest shit happened when I was in Los Angeles and, um, you know, me going to sleep and then waking up with cabinets open or me leaving and then coming back with my front door wide open or sometimes the front and back door wide open and I know I didn't do it because I hardly even went out the back door that much or you know I would you know one time I would see um a smushed dead bird but flies like right in, directly in front of my door and, I, and and when I was living in Los Angeles, I wish I would have known this was gang stalking. I would have recorded it. Neighbors going in and out of my gate when they had their own gate to go through, and then they even broke the knob somehow, took the knob off the gate. And they all the neighbors that used to love me, my twin sister lied through them, lied to them through the phone, turned them against me. Right when the time when the biological mom Francis passed away. Also, I would find like um, smush doodle or regular doodle more than once, like animal doodle, like on my front doorstep. So, I mean, back in, in, in like in 2015 or whatever, when I was living in Los Angeles, you know. I didn't even have a phone like this, or I don't, don't even think I was able to afford a phone, like a smartphone or whatever, you know, or to be filming and recording, um, you know, all the perp activities. But yeah, like the year 2012, I mean, that year was mostly peaceful in Los Angeles, but Right around the time the biological parents passing away, things went downhill. I mean, my neighbors used to love me. And, and they saw me off first sight and was excited to have me as the na a new neighbor. And, um, you know, they, they even declared me as family. You know. But, you know, they, they, like, after my twin, and after my twin sister got, and, and it's like, I think that was one of the only perps that admitted to me, you know. Oh, and even the, um, when I was living in Los Angeles, I had to deal with, um, neighbors opening my mail, my packages, or my mail being tampered with. And I was wondering, what the hell is going on? And the, um... They the land, they even turned the landlord into a perp, and and, the, and like the money hungry landlady, the other lady, that elderly fake Jehovah's Witness lady, she even said, "Well, I guess the owner, you know, she said that the owner is not money hungry." So I think that um that the owner that San Barretta person um. He, he that Sam person he um you know it seemed like he was he, he's probably probably was just gullible and you know he I don't he never came off as a money hungry kind of person you know but I think that he started perping because of you know he he joined in on the gang stalking being gullible but if he would have refused or said, "Nah, candy is not like that," they probably had to. They probably did have to threaten him. Or will you know? Will and, and it's like, am I that powerful or that significant that people are losing their souls behind Candy Grand Prix? 
or they try to manipulate you to think you're not important or significant. Even other TIs losing their souls behind me. And it's like the fact that there's less real targeted individuals left. It seems like we're taking the attacks from the t from um taking the burden from the fact that there's less real TIs left. Now it seems like um that people that are still being targeted and uh, it seems like our gang stalking is ramping up. But it's weird that um almost everybody you caught cross paths with like who is not a sellout these days. Who's not a satanic sellout these days? You know. So. Yeah. And I'm still sleepy. Um, you know, I'm just rambling on, you know, venting my emotions, you know. And, you know, to be, have to be out on the streets, out in the cold tonight with um, frosty toes and feet. And really no shelter overhead, nowhere to go and, you know, nowhere to go pee. And that's torture. But... Yeah, the fake Darnell Williams perp made a fake harassing um, account on Twitter. And he said that he was the one who called up the hotel. He said he was the one that called up the hotel. But I found out it was the fake Aquarian Doris perp. And the fake Aquarian Doris perp. And uh, fake Darnell Williams perp. They're the only two right now. That's um after my soul. But I never, I don't think, you know what? I think I did see one time. Yesterday or the day before. Um, but usually the fake Aquarium Doris perp. I haven't seen her um, that much really commenting on my twin sister's um you know, but the, the guy calls himself Satanic Darnell Williams. And my twin sister thinks no problem of being friendly with him. But her cult followers donated and supported her while sitting there sadistically making me suffer. They don't, I mean... They force you to be homeless and then lie and say that you want to be homeless. When it's they want you to be homeless. They say you're lazy and don't want to work. They do not want you to work. I have screenshots of the fake Aquarium Doris perp saying that um, if I accept the deal more like to become a gang stalker or whatever or to join their luciferian cult that oh f you'll get free hotels and free hotel rooms and food for a whole year if you make the right decision and join the kingdom of darkness but then you lecture me about bad behavior and falsely accusing me of scamming people I mean, the fake Darnell Williams perp on that fake new account on Twitter, he said, it's me, Darnell Williams, your handler. No, you ain't my handler. 
Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. I need I know I need to be more obedient as a Christian. But you are not my handler. I don't even know you. You're uh, just a perp. That's it. You're not my handler. You're, you're just a perp. You are just a perp. You're not my handler. So the fake Darnell Williams people perp was lying to people on Twitter and saying that I take the donated money and go buy drugs with it. I may be ignorant because I don't know that much about drugs, but I only I thought that mainly um, skinny people, um, you know, I never I've never heard of an overweight or obese person that's on drugs really. Maybe I don't know, but you know, with narcissistic abuse survival. Um, certain narcissistic abuse, I don't know, life coaches or whatever, they say it's not that you're fat, greedy, and lazy, but you're just in survival mode from all the attacks from narcissistic abuse and gang stalking as well, even though they don't mention gang stalking. On rare occasions, some of them mention gang stalking, but you know, they'll talk about narcissistic abuse, but on rare occasions, they might. Um, do like um, small amount of videos on um, proxy stalking or proxy abuse or abuse by proxy or stalking by proxy or they might you know talk about gang stalking so they turned that either he was already a perp or they quickly turned that GS sanctuary guy into a perp um just that quick. They turned that Mike Carruth guy into a perp just that quick. You know. No, like, how do you wake up? You, you're a targeted individual one day, supportive and nice. And then you go to sleep and then wake up the next day and you're a perp now? I thought it was a process. You know, people. I thought people say selling your soul is a process. But people flip on you in an instant. So if I was demonic and have sold out, why why are they still telling me, you know, stuff like give me your soul or I want your soul or they keep harassing me about my soul and thinking they own me and that and no, I belong to Jesus Christ, not you. And, and and another reason why they um and you know another reason why um the stalkers they um they keep themselves invisible because the fact that we can't physically see God they want to try to play God by trying to hide you know and and they will have fake ti per spreading disinformation and lying and saying that the um that gang stalking is just AI or the gang stalkers are just AI making you think that you're being such as have harassed or whatever you know, and that's not the case. So, I have to get going. Um, thanks for listening to me. And keep me in your prayers. I'm fighting to stay strong. And I'm still looking for job opportunities. And they don't want me to work a regular job. They want me to be sex trafficked and per start perfing. And, and with the Luciferian cult. No. I'm publicly declaring that I will not join.